Alrighty then. Let's do this. Ugh. Start running around before I, while I get set up here. <laughs> that took a little more effort than I had anticipated. And... Alrighty then. Welcome everybody to this lovely Tuesday evening edition of Seraph Plays Battletech. We might actually be running up into the later stages of the story portion of the campaign. And so that will be very interesting to see if we can get there. I don't know if we'll actually get to it tonight. We're definitely going to do the uh, Itrim invasion. We'll see if we actually get to Koromordir or not. So last time when we played this game, just to give a quick summation of things, we, we managed to follow up on Lady Centrella's lead with the recording of Director Espinosa's <laughs> very, very treacherous plottings and the chemical attack on perdition. And so with evidence of that, knowing that, there were, or well, we didn't actually know that that was what the recording was. We just knew there was some blackmail material. So anyway, Alexander goes to his home planet to go get that blackmail, whatever it is. We follow up on that. We're unable to actually get Alexander free because the directorate had kind of caught up to him and Victoria captured him and his fate, he's, he's in for some hard times because apparently, you know, uh, despite the fact that she wasn't abused in captivity, she thinks it's totally okay to abuse him in captivity. And that's when we finally got the insurance policy. And that's when we found out that Victoria launched a chemical attack uh, and, <laughs> oh boy. And so, uh, most likely the Torians are not going to be happy that they've been played in this whole thing, but that's the even, to me, that's the ultimate irony of this whole thing. The Torians kind of got pulled into this conflict, but they've been just as much, if not more so, of a, <laughs> a gaggle of assholes than even the, the Oregon directorate forces, as far as like the war crimes against or Lady Arano restoration forces, going after innocent people, food, those types of things. And so clearly these guys all basically deserve each other. But in any event, we are going to get things started here. And so without any further ado, that kind of gets us up to speed on all of that. I'm actually curious to see if Warhammer joins us tonight or if he's still over in Texas dealing with the after effects of the... of the... Um, of the eclipse. I'm hoping he got to see it. This I know if I traveled that about a distance, I would certainly hope to have uh to get to actually see the thing. But uh yeah, and if anybody notices, I've kind of updated my graphics a little bit. So we're we're getting there. It's a work in progress, but we're getting there. Um it's giving me an opportunity to kind of fiddle with things. And this channel offers me the better kind of opportunity to tinker and fiddle with things. Uh, that ultimately will be useful when I do, when I launch my, my real professional channel, my legitimately professional channel. At least I hope it will be. <laughs> so let's get started with Battletech here. Let's make sure our audio sounds good. Audio should be good as soon as the game eventually will load. All right, game's loading. Should see it. Grab in a second. There we go. Perfect. All right, perfect. And as I see it now, I probably could have given some of the elements on the top and bottom a little space to breathe, but eh, I didn't want it to be too big and kind of take over the screen. But maybe I'll lower the uh, title bits over in the upper right and uh, maybe raise some of the things over in the bottom. But yeah, one thing and all, all things in due time. Let's see where we are. I'm probably going to do a warm up today because it's been a little while since we played this. So yeah, we saved at Guldra right after Alexander got kidnapped by Victoria. And just after getting the insurance policy. So we're going to have to do at least a few missions just to get the game to give us the priority mission. It always takes a little while. But I feel like I'm in the mood for a warm up anyway. Let's take a look. Let's see if we've got any... Well, actually, let's see if we have any damage. I don't think we've got any damage. We do not have any damage. 
but we will send that trebuchet into storage because we will be saving that. Yeah, let's save and send that dragon too. Because even though we do intend to sit, uh, sell those things, it doesn't make any sense to keep them active because we're going to have to pay maintenance on those things. And I don't think it makes sense to keep that Black Knight in operation. So I do think we will send that to storage as well. Because if we need to send it to backup mechs, we're just going to use these instead. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep that. Let's take a look. I don't think we need to. Standing by. I think Commander? everybody's got pretty Please good XP order. at this point. Yes, Commander. Receiving Nobody needs. You. Nobody needs XP. Standing We're good. By. Okay. Contracts. Let's get this party started. All right. So we got a raiding party. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, wow. That's interesting. This contract includes travel to Itram, huh? Uh, Seventeen days. Let's take a look. Take a look at the star map. That would be free. Yeah, and Intram does have a a uh, black market. So, what the hell? Let's do the Itram one. Let's go back to Itram. We'll do a raiding party. We'll go against the Regan Directorate again. Should just be a fairly straightforward battle. Uh, I could go with money. We still kind of need money. So yeah, let's let's just go standard here. Calculating course now, Commander. And we get to travel a little bit. More spacefaring. It's clearly Goldra is still deep in the Oregon Directorate. We can't hey, they won't do business with us. <laughs> we got a pickup game here. As we're working on a machine in the Argos Gem, a small group of mech warriors clear <laughs> Yeah, a small group of mech warriors clears equipment out of the way and starts setting up a mapeshift basketball court a ventilation seal ring apparently makes a fine hoop slam and medusa approach you you're gonna play this time commander two on two you could be with ice tray the other mech warriors cheer enthusiastically yeah let's play a friendly game that's usually i don't actually know what push yourself to win does but let's play a friendly game that's almost guaranteed good morale yep perfect slam and medusa will have high spirits perfect your team loses uh the toss but which turns out to be an accurate omen for the rest of the game in the final play you try to pass to Ice Tray, but Slam intercepts it. Dishes to Medusa under the hoop, who easily lays it up. After politely shaking hands, Slam turns to the crowd. Looks like I'm better than the commander. Ice Tray groans. Yeah, yeah. If only you'd moved half as gracefully in a mech. The mech warriors continue hassling each other on the way to the showers. I've got the yeah, neat little... Oh, uh, yeah. See? And now I'm really glad. I mean, that ended up probably ended up being uh, a good... Yeah. Those three mechs alone probably would have had a hundred thousand sea bills. So we saved we saved a good chunk of scratch by shelving them into storage. So we're gonna be in Itram in about ten days. We'll do this warm up and we'll see how it goes. Oh, and I didn't put away East Three from the other day playing Oath of Filgana. That was fun. Yay, watching jump ship animations. The sound sounds a little low, though. I probably turned it lower for Otha Filgana and East Book 1 and 2. That does seem a little on the low side. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go into the options here and see if I can just turn up the... Yeah, let's proceed. Whoops. Okay, I wanted to go into settings. Audio. That should be good. Yeah, because everything was a little on the soft side. So we'll just turn that up. Launch contract. Yes. And we're going to put the Marauder here. Archer is going to be our missile boat. Hmm. Yeah, let's put Medusa in the Archer. That certainly works. And since Slam has high spirits, maybe we should put him. Yeah, that's a priority mission. Let's not fuck around. But we can certainly bring Slam with us for a couple of missions later. That might work out pretty well. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, action here against the Oregon Directorate. We'll see what the story is with this Lance on an incoming dropship.
We have detected an inbound dropship belonging to the Oregon Directorate. Our local defense forces uh, in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle a Lance Max. So we're going to pay you to go and deal with it. Commander, the Directorate wouldn't send a dropship. They didn't mean business. So if we take this job, we should stay alert down there. Thank you, Darius. I will do that. Find out if this is a milk run or if this is going to be some primo bullshit. Fire the location and engage the force. Put a stop to their raid. Yep. Let's get this do... over with so we can go swimming. <laughs> oh, glitch. And now let's take a look. See, uh, my levels look good for this. Okay, so that seems like it was a good decision. Roger. Nope. Enemy detected. Yeah. That might be a hair too loud. But, yeah, it looks fine. Broader. That. Got it. Roger. Yeah, everything looks okay. I mean, I do want it to be audible, and it is lower than me, so that should be okay. I will most likely fiddle with it <laughs> as chat gets more active, and uh, I hear whether or not people can hear me or not. <laughs> But this game isn't exactly twitchy like Overwatch, where there's like a lot of sound and all that going on. We really should be okay. Let us jump. And since I can't do that. I don't know if I want to be overly ambitious here. Or if. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's jump. Because what we can do here, we'll do that. And then I'll just activate vigil now. Yeah. I'll activate vigilance. Well protected. And let's pick on this catapult, even though. Well, actually, you know what? I think that dragon already went. So yeah, let's. Even with this going on. Perfect. Hmm, interesting choice. Good to go. Aw. Oh, can't have glitch interact with any of that shit. That being the case. Yep. Well, so much for that, I guess. But okay. Close crew's over here. And fuck the dragon. In particular. <laughs> Even taking half damage, it's still going to take up. Hell of a punishment with this volley. So one of the interesting things about this action right now that's going on. Yeah, we still did a decent amount of damage to it. None of these mechs can see me. The only reason I can see them is because the Highlander has a rangefinder. So that's kind of what's going on here. What can I do for you? But I just can't, uh, really can't do much here. I don't want to overextend the Marauder. I could have her sprint, but then I'd be kind of in open field. It's easier just to go here, brace, and be very, very well protected. Standing by. And... Yeah, you know, let's just go up here and maybe hope for a critical Location hit. Confirmed. My suspicion is that this will not do a whole lot. But we'll try anyway. Engaging target. Still pretty decent damage. <laughs> Surprise! But we still get to go first. Isn't that interesting? I'm actually going to reserve here. Because by doing so, yeah, they'll get a chance to fire on me. But in all likelihood, I'm going to get a chance to do a lot more damage to them. Yeah, that catapult is going to really regret doing that. Oh, I couldn't jump behind it. Damn. That would have been real nice. What I could do. Mm. Well, I could go after the quick draw here. Or I could wait for that dragon to go. 
I mean, we could pick on the catapult, but I really would have preferred to just jump behind the catapult. Let us... I hear ya. I'm gonna go up here. Let's pick on this catapult. We're gonna go for some cheese here. That works. <laughs> Dang, you're dead. The Marauder is just a headshotting machine. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Here's the issue with that. Engaging jump jets. That so nothing really has. Gilly. Ah, that Jaeger mech. That Jaeger mech is. Oh, yeah. Now I just pointed my back to it. I thought it was going to be more sideways. But, all right. So everybody else is going to really pick on that. You know what? Let's just. Let's really lay into the quick draw. Oh, I hate when that misses. We still put a good lick on it though fuck thought the Jaeger I thought that mech went first Warning. Enemy in rear arc. well never mind ended up not being that much of a concern Damage minimal. well look at that <laughs> I wonder what Seraph is going to shoot at I think so. So Jaeger mechs have a very high output, but they cannot take any kind of beating whatsoever. Orders. They are little miniature ga uh, glass cannons. Yeah, we're gonna do that. On my way. And then this Jaeger mech is gonna really, really, really hate his life. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Roger that. <laughs> yeah, dude, yes it is. Cord it pretty much instantly. That was the worst place for both of those AC-20 bolts to go. My God. That was just pure, pure decimation. Now, let's just attack right where I'm at. Yep. Go after the quick draw. Open fire. Nice hit. Target's taking a critical hit. I might be able to go behind that dragon. I don't think I can, but yeah, I can't. I mean, I could death from above it, but that is a terrible plan. <laughs> that is a terrible plan. I could go over there and shoot Quick draw more. But you know what? I'm just gonna jump over there. And I think it's time just to shoot the dragon. The other nice part about the gauze rifle, no recoil. So we could just shoot the gauze rifle consecutively with no concern for that. Only really worrying about ammunition. Whereas auto cannons, yeah, you fire those more than like two or three times in a row, you're gonna get a mean debuff. Good luck with that, guys. So this Lance is clearly ill-prepared to deal with us. Well, we're going after one of you. Oh my god, I can Alpha Strike again? Cool. Guess it really doesn't matter which of these two I go after. Let's just try and deal with this dragon here. Well. And that mech is now slag. Gotcha! What's up, boss? 
Yeah, not a lot I could do with the Got Atlas. It. The Atlas D tends to be more, much more of a true tank where it doesn't really have a lot of long range. The Atlas II, with those ER large lasers, really has that extra long range punch. Although that was still nice. I think I hit something good. Yeah, these poor fuckers. I mean, they, they weren't... They, they were a heavy lance, not anything even remotely equipped to deal with my assault lance. All right. Finally, one of them actually connected with a bunch of weapons, but too little too late. It's over. Waiting for orders. Engage. Target. The only question is, when does it die? I don't even think I'm going to be able to, uh, don't need to tell me twice. fire much here. But we'll do it anyway. Okay, we can fire those. Got it. <laughs> Blast off its other arm. <laughs> and its right torso. Jeez. Another hit like that and you're toast. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, we'll just advance. Nothing fancy here. It's four on one and like, come on. That was a nice warm up. We just made half a million Seabills to delete a uh, director at Lance. Mission successful. It would have been nice if we could have had some easy missions like that early on in the game. The very beginning of this playthrough, the uh, game was particularly mean to us as far as some of the drops that it gave us. Ooh, complete a catapult here. Right, because we... Yeah, we'll take the plus 10 damage. Medium laser. Yeah, that works. Cool. And let's sell some stuff and see where we're at. Now we'll take a, a proper accounting of things. Mech bay, send this down to the mech bay. Storage, perfect. Sell, and then we'll take a look at the black market and see what we could buy. There should be some good stuff in there. Yeah, we don't need that black knight. Now the Star League black knight, still worth thinking about. Perfect, okay. Now we go to buying. Let's see what we have for sale here. We'll go to the normal yeah, there's really nothing there. Ooh, but plus, uh, free plus... This is why I like this particular arm mod, because it weighs nothing. So other than Seabills, it's free. It's just a free plus 10 melee damage. I love those. Available. Plus one melee hit, meh. Plus two melee hit, meh. See, these are pretty nice, but again, it's just minus... DFA self damage. Although if you get enough of these, you won't take any damage from death from above, but still. All right, that's free damage. Sure, we'll buy that. New equipment available. Now let's take a look at the black market, see what we got. I think that's the good. Yeah, this is the good black. Uh, this is the good Banshee. It sacrifices tra uh, its trademark speed, but this thing actually has some punch to it. So this is actually a useful 95 ton mech. I mean, it's heat efficiency is almost like nothing, but at the same time, you get this and swap these for double heat sinks. And uh, now you're in, now you're in some serious business. Uh, I really do like the, the 3S. That is a, that is a good mech. This is the non, um, battle computer version of the Cyclops. It's got some, good damage to it too. This thing is a little scary when you see it out in the field. We can't afford the King Crab or the Marauder, but um, yeah, there's another. We could buy another Phoenix Hawk if we wanted to. We actually could afford that. It's nice that we have the one that we have, but I'm still not okay with that. Now we could buy a really nice ERPPC. 
plus 10 damage minus a ton. That's tempting, even though it's really expensive. But that is tempting. I don't think so. See, that's a really good SRM-6. That we will buy. That New we can weapon use. Systems available. Probably not. Not worth. Uh, you know what? Free. Sure. We'll go with free. New equipment available. So yeah, I need to I need to decide whether or not that ERPPC is worth buying or not because you could put that in something like a Phoenix Hawk that already has. Is right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah, this already has a PPC. So now all of a sudden, that 45 ton mech now has an additional ton to work with. It, it's it's a big difference. And usually what you could do is you could just pile on the support weapons onto that. And you're in you're in really good shape. Uh, you could either put a double heat sink on there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to spend half my net worth on a weapon system, but it was worth at least thinking about. I think we'll pass on that. Let's take a look here. So we could do a local pirate mission against Canopians. Nope, let's not do that. Canopian, yeah, I'd rather not go against the Magistry of Canopus. Okay, we can ambush a Torian convoy out in the Badlands. Let's see, what's this? Uh, yeah, we're not doing any missions against them. We're not doing any missions against them. So I guess the question is, do we want to do this professional courtesy where we ambush a, a Torian convoy, or do we just go to Ryan's fate and do this, uh, do this mission? I kind of want to do... Yeah, let's do this. We'll continue fighting against the Torian Concordat. We'll go there. We haven't gone there yet, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hate us pretty soon. But whatever. Now, Commander. And I think Ryan's fate may have a good store on it too. So it's worth worth checking out. Our Mech Bay 3. Network orders complete, boss. Top notch so we'll work if I may ship say upgrades. So. Let's take a look at what we got. We may as well do we want to get the machine shop? Or do we want the low G pool? Let's Roger go with the low G better. pool. I'll get the crew moving. Oh, I forgot to check out the hiring hall in case there were any Ronin. Definitely forgot to do that. Because at this stage of the game, we could probably hire some really good pilots. They should start dropping fairly soon. If they aren't already. And let's see, what else is going on here? As far as uh, all this stuff goes. I'm getting ready to... Once we're done with this... I'm definitely looking forward to playing some Mech Warrior 5. Sort of like this, same universe, but definitely a lot more action oriented. Hopefully my aim will be on point. So let us proceed. Yeah, sounds good. And plus our guys still have our trademark Yeah, let's put Slam in. Let's give him some experience. And he's got high spirits, so it won't cost nearly as much to activate our resolve abilities. <laughs> We've discovered that the Torian Concordat has reactivated an old manufacturing facility in this system. To maintain the balance of power in this system, the Arana Restoration needs to capture this facility. You'll make a surgical strike. Occupy the race. Hold it until restoration forces can arrive, uh, can arrive to take control. <laughs> they haven't told us precisely what the facility has been producing. Given the strength of enemy forces on the ground, it's probably something worth protecting. Or it's an old Star League staple factory. You know, that type of stuff really does happen in universe. Manufacturing facility is just ahead, Commander. Before we start our attack, we should recon the facility's defenses from a defensible position. Once that's done, we'll move in and capture the base. Good luck, Commander. I think we this just gotta... This whole planet could use an air conditioner. 
So that is a that is like a cliff. Oh man, that is terrible terrain. Look at that. That is bullshit. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Well, it's a shitty approach, but I think I like going around this spot because if something is over here, at least they shouldn't. But the problem is if we if they're up here and we cross this, it's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel at that spot. But otherwise over here, they might be able to really be able to punish us for a long time. I'm thinking this is the better thinking this is the better trap the better the better route let's find out Engaging jump jets. Yeah. got it I read you commander moving out you guys can stay there in the woods sensors have something well shit no we are gonna reserve This just got interesting. Oh, we got another catapult. Standing by. Let's let as many of them go as we can. Now it begins. It's here because of the rangefinder. And we'll pick on that catapult. Oh, wow, really? Well, then, yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? I don't think it really matters to cluster it, so let's take our one in five. Didn't even hit with the gauze rifle. Something going in the assault? Yeah, we got an assault. Probably an awesome. Orders. Very likely to be an assault. Or, uh, an awesome. It's definitely an assault. Probably. I mean, it could be a victor as well. It's not like there are only one 80 ton mech in the game, but still. Ready for orders. <sighs> Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, let's. Let's fall back. Moving out. Let's just fire with the PPC. It'll be a breaching shot. Got it. We'll stay cool. Good. Breach its armor. Receiving you. It's only going to be able to fire its LRM 20, but that will be enough. In a way, this actually might be in our favor to have the fight out here away from this base, because most likely this base is going to have turrets. So at least this way, we're fighting the mechs separately from the turrets wow we really fucked up that torso no ammo in it though oh but we got machine gun ammo in the center torso let's go for a uh, ammo explosion come on ammo explosion ammo explosion nah you got a crit though take that yep uh yes let's go for more damage locked off <laughs> We're really punishing this catapult now. Let's knock over the catapult if we can. And we'll fight from over here. Yeah, we're knocking this over if we don't kill it out right here. There it is. Ammo explosion. <laughs> I love when enemy mechs store their ammo in the center torso. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. What can I do for you? Okay. Sure. Let's just take a shot at the thunderbolt here. Oh, wow, we hit its head. Shit. Well, now I may take a headshot at it. 
I think a good medium laser takes out that mech now. That's nice. Standing by. Although we got a shit angle at it. I almost wonder if I just go over here and brace, because what I could do is go out in the open, brace. I'll have virtually Yeah, I like that idea. Because those those missiles aren't gonna really do that much to that mech in that location. But I am totally okay with just going out here, bracing, and just trying to pull aggro from everything. Let it see the atlas and do virtually no damage to it. Reserve. All right, Thunderbolt, what you got? And now the Thunderbolt dies. I don't, I just don't see this Thunderbolt making it. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We'll do this. And we will do, wow, man. Oh, because it's in cover. Mm. All right, well, not great. Wow. There's a full assault lance over here. Nice. That's got to be a Cyclops. Oh, it's a Highlander. That's actually a nice Highlander variant. All right, time to put the pain on this Thunderbolt. Jeez, I'm almost tempted to. I don't think I can. Wow, I can strike its head. Yeah, let's go for it because shit, anything that hits it is going to kill it. So fuck it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We did hit its head again. We just didn't hit it with any of the medium lasers. That's actually really shitty luck. One of those, I mean, we had a one in five chance out of every one of those weapons and not one of them hit the head, except for a missile. <laughs> it was worth it though. It was definitely worth the, hear the shot. Still think I should go for the, still think I should go for the head again. You betcha. Well, because that's where that's where the damage is. I think we got to go for it. Yeah, we got to go for it. Fire, and the Marauder has a slightly up. higher chance. There it is. By the virtue of Glitch's lucky shot dead, initially. Good to go. Open fire on that Highlander. Let's start softening this thing up but as you can see highlanders <laughs> they have a lot of armor Locked on and of course i've got that but a star league version of it so my mech has much better heat sinking ability and better weapons Ready for orders. All right, so don't know what's going to be able to hit that from here. So let's go here and let's just see what we've got. On it. I'd rather be in cover. We'll find out. What do we got? Yep. <laughs> yep. It was an awesome. It was indeed an awesome. But it's not out. You know what? Fuck it. It's only five. Oh, it's only five percent chance, right? Open fire. That's a lot of damage that fucker just absorbed. Already got his laser, large laser. Reporting. Critical hit. Yep, Medusa is gonna knock it down in a second. Yeah, we're knocking you down. Definitely, absolutely. Slam should have an easy time finishing that mech off in a second. Yeah, so that particular Highlander variant is an energy variant. Detecting mech warrior injury. Fuck. Well, Renegade's going to be in the uh, mech bay for a while. 
but whatever. Highlander on Highlander violence. So this Highlander, as you see, very similar layout. LRM-20, SRM-6, two medium lasers, but it's got a PPC instead of the typical Highlander 733 that has an AC-10. I, of the two typical 30, 733 variants, I much prefer the 733P. Just, let's just see, let's just soften it up and see what happens here. Good, tearing it up. Waiting for orders. Yes, this is Renner. On my way. We'll hold one PPC in reserve and fire any everything else, assuming everything else can hit. Yep, that looks good. Fire. Go. Good. A lot hit the same location. Yes, we got the torso. Yeah, critical hit. I mean, we didn't take out its primary weapon, that ER PPC, but we took out its LRM-20. And I think we got its SRM-6 in the process. I think the awesome is angry. <laughs> Heading out. Now we're going to take advantage of slams. Ah. Uh. Oh, wow, you're going to way overheat. Never mind. Do not fire that. No. Okay, don't fire the medium laser either. You need to cool off. Confirmed. Perfect. Tango down. We actually killed the pilot. That's going to be a lot of salvage. Like, yeah. It's going to be a lot of salvage. Nothing like taking out the pilot and leaving the mech. Oh, we we re, we did a lot of damage to that Highlander there. That mech's really fucked up now. Yes, please shoot the much more heavily armed and less damaged Atlas. That is a fantastic decision. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> We're actually generating some pretty good heat, probably because this is a desert environment. That's also one of the reasons why I didn't jump there, because using your jump jets generates a lot of heat. Uh, let's just have a more traditional firefight rather than using precise shot here. I'm a little concerned that we might have reinforcements, so I want to keep the reserve. And I feel like we've got this very well in hand. Good to go. Well, I can't shoot you, so let's sprint this direction. We'll sprint this direction, we'll cool off. Receiving you. And yes, yes, we'll do. Probably similar oh, deal. I won't be able to fire the Ultra Auto Cannon 20. I'll still be able to pump some medium lasers and all that stuff. Yeah, we're just heat neutral firing this right now. So we're just going to continue to put on some pressure. Get in his face. Good Got work, him. Commander. Proceed to the next objective. We took out the garrison. That was nice. Let's go up here. See what we got. Uh, that's a Starly Gera manufacturing facility. All right. No wonder the Iran restoration wants it so bad. Be careful of reinforcements. We're getting intel that there are additional enemy forces rallying to the facility. Oh, yeah. No surprise there. Confirmed. Okay, we're going to want to get up here as soon as we can. Uh huh. I'm not too worried about the Medusa and the Archer. Assuming the reinforcements don't come the direction we just came. But that's very unusual. think it has happened but it is very rare okay, let's don't see anybody you sprint moving fast 
you make it to the woods. Moving out. Good. And I think there is a heat benefit, even though it's the desert. The fact that we're doing it at night, I think helps mitigate the desert environment somewhat. Thank goodness. Roger. Go here. Don't need to tell me twice. Sprint up and cover. Coordinates received. Capture the base. Let's see where these reinforcements are coming from. Heads up, Commander. Ah, here they are. Hostile contacts inbound. Oh, we got a Black Knight. Probably an Orion. It's gonna be my guess. Aye, aye. Open fire. Yes. <laughs> Attacking from position. Ah, oh, they've got a Marauder. Fuck. That thing we have to take out. Ah, oh, of course it decided to do that shit. Fuck. Well. Maybe what I ought to do then is... Let's just go maximum for the Marauder then, even though it is a little protected. sooner we take out this marauder we're gonna need it you know what? let's at least concentrate our damage since we're doing less to it <sighs> of course there are two fucking marauders I don't think it's communication suite. At least I think it's got a communication suite. Uh, the Lance mod. Yeah, the, the command mod. Uh, I don't think that stacks, but it is fucking redundant. What can I do for you? That is a problem. We got to take out two of these little fuckers. Yeah, all right. Sprint. Double time. That sucks. Sucks that there's two of them in that, out there. We're gonna have to take out both those marauders as quickly as, it, as we can. Yep, I was right, an Orion. And it's gonna attack missile, uh, lob an LRM-10 at me from position. Not a big deal. Standing by. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. Shoot that with your LRM-20. It's not like it has breaching shot, so I may as well go after the one that's not in cover. But we'll toggle these back on. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Locking on target. Half of them will hit. That works for me. Actually, it looked like more than 60% hit there. That was nice. That was a good spread. Sometimes you get lucky. Thank you for missing with the ER PPC. <laughs> you can see that gyro doing its work because I didn't really have I don't think I had any evasion at that point and it still missed with half of its weapons at fairly close range so yeah without that gyro I would have gotten completely completely fucked up there got it those gyros oh my god they make your mechs so much more survivable. Yes, we will absolutely concentrate fire. Let's just pour it. Not playing around. Good, it's lost its evasive now. What's this Orion doing? Oh, just gonna fire missiles at me? Yeah, please do that. It's auto cannon is the worst thing about it. And it's content to not position itself so it can fire that against me. Please, yeah, feel free. That's that's awesome. Yeah, you just you just keep doing that. Please and thank you. Let's uh, let's back up and let's try to take out that Marauder here. We might do it. We might get this. Engaging target. Ooh, that looks good. Yep, we got it. All right, one Marauder down, one to go. Enemy mech destroyed. 
okay, now I'm glad I took the Master Tactician for Renegade so that I got a chance to even go before the Marauder could reposition or do some other bullshit. So, all right, it's it's finally paying dividends now. Good to go. I mean, there are a lot of times where, you know what, actually, let's reserve. I want that Marauder to go now. now. Yep, good. You go and fire him. Shoot something. Ah, bastard. Fine. I hear ya. All right, that being the case. You, you cannot shoot the Marauder. Oh, you can't. You can't hit the Marauder from any of those places. You can only shoot the Black Knight. Wow. It is positioned just right. Fuck. All right, well. All right, well, I could go there. Granted, that Black Knight has... That Black Knight is running very, very hot. So... Alright, fine. Let's go for it. <laughs> That's a very interesting uh, geometry as it zoomed in. <laughs> Oops. Commencing alpha oh, it's strike. the building. We got it. Oh, we didn't kill it. Shit. That sucked. Well... Oh, well. <sighs> yeah, just continue moving. And I guess we could at least... All right, fine. I may as well shoot the Orion. Aye, aye. Disappointing we didn't get the easy kill. But we're still handling this mission pretty well. Though maybe I shouldn't have jinxed it. In the middle of that? Yeah, the Black Knight's retreating because it's overheating. It's going to pull back and try to cool off. Yes, Commander. You're going to stay right there and knock over that Orion. <laughs> Copy that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice view of uh, the building there. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have to worry about its AC-10 anymore. Scored a critical hit. Wow, we didn't knock it over? That's crazy. But now we've reduced the threat profile of that of that Orion K. So even if it's out there, I may just ignore it now. Damage I mean, it still has its LRMs, but who cares? Yeah. Yeah, your life's about to suck, bro. Goodbye, Marauder. And now everybody else is going to take normal damage. I don't see this thing surviving this. There it is. But it didn't survive it by all that much. We were firing missiles at that point. Waiting on you, Commander. You know what? Take two. You really should have been able to get it, but why not? Tell me what to shoot. Alright, we got it that time. It took two tries, but we got it. At this point, the Black Knight is now, <laughs> is now imitating the Black Knight from Monty Python. <laughs> well, no, not quite yet. It's going to be, though. Firing. Let's see if we can get it to actually do that, <laughs> where it has no arms or anything. Like, it's just, just a flesh wound. It has fired that PPC at me at least three times. It has missed each time. <laughs> Receiving you. Target confirmed. And now this thing just takes an absolute fucking beating Target from my entire lance. Hit. Waiting for orders. Got it. May not be able to fire the PPC again. Nope. Can't fire the PPC, but we could certainly continue to fuck you up. <laughs> oh, I love it when we can do that. Let's do it. And now it really is over. That is the best part 
about the Highlander is the ability to just jump right behind a mech and put a fuck ton of damage right into its back. I almost wonder if we, if I don't precision strike, you know what, we could try that, but let's, let's not fuck around. I bet though, if I just opened fired here, it would still put this mech down. <laughs> Dropship inbound for landing commander once they secure to the facility, we're dusting off. Wait, do we have more? That's it. We've taken control of the facility, Commander. Good. Given what we've seen here, I'm guessing the restoration will be very pleased with our work. Mission successful. But I love these extra little missions like that. It really does feel like you're a mercenary company working in a big picture war. It's not just the campaign missions that advance the story. There are all these little stories of when we had to go to Ryan's fate and capture the base. Although, Renegade got injured. Uh, ooh, we now have that Highlander. That is sweet. And we've got an extra Marauder. That's a no fucking brainer. Although, man, there's some really nice salvage in there, but we, we've got to go with that. I don't even know why I scrolled over here other than to torture myself. Oh my God, there's so much good luck. <laughs> yeah, 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 you have to. You have to, but my God, it's such a good, well, we already have two of them. We already have two of them, but that's a really nice arm mod too. Uh, my goodness. All right, let's see how nice the game is gonna be to us. So it gave us some pretty good salvage otherwise, and it fucking just didn't play nice with the rest of it, but that's all right. We, we, we still, we had to go that route, man. Now, oh, right, we didn't buy the ER PPC, but yeah, that really nice, ton lighter PPC would have been really nice in that Highlander. So for MechWarrior 5, even though it's kind of a meh game, but for that one, I actually really like, aha, perfect. And this was perfect timing. Lady Arano's contract to liberate House Parada and deal with Espinosa's dropship fleet is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think, when you think we're ready. We'll take a quick look at the missions here. I didn't see anything in here. Yep, just replaces it with the PPC. Handles keep build up better. Ah, good, we got, yeah, that's probably, uh, <laughs> we know who that is. Well, let's take a look. I don't, I think you're already, no, you're not. Commander? No. You already are. How's it going? Yeah, you're maxed out already. Ready for orders. Same with you. Waiting for orders. Ah, well, all right. Yeah, let's, let's just Training do that. Training confirmed, Commander. That is fine. You're already maxed out. We'll do that. By. But you just got some nice. Yes. Let's work your way towards breaching shot. Mech that Warrior will be complete. lovely. That will be lovely. Let's take a look at the hiring hall since I forgot last time. All right. I mean, not orders. great, but still nice to have the Kickstarter profiles are pretty cool. They give you is clearly the Kickstarters put some pretty good thought into these with the backgrounds. I don't see any typical Roman, but you know Ronin, but you know what? Let's let's hire this dude. New mech sure. warriors available. Let's go to the mech bay. I do like the idea. We don't need this typical. Actually, that Marauder. Hmm, that Marauder may actually be better than the 3R. Doesn't have an auto cannon, so we don't have to worry about ammunition explosions. Packs on extra heat sinks. Yeah, the 3D might actually be better than the 3R here. I mean, we still have to worry about those, but meh. You know what? Let's just, we'll store this guy. Highlander, though, that is going to be another backup mech for sure. Just in case this one gets knocked out of commission, I could still bring a pretty decent Highlander into the fight, and away we will go. I don't think we're going to stick around to do any of those contracts. Let's do that 
mission, but let's refit this anyway, just to take a quick look. And we'll take a look at the store just in case there's something here. We did pick up plus 10 melee mod. How many? Yeah, it takes two slots. That's the problem. So I can't fit it in there, but if I move... Yeah, no, we really can't. We really can't fit it in this mech, so it's, it's not going to fit in here. So that's... That's a bummer. Let's take a look at the Atlas. Because we do know this Atlas heats up a lot. We can't hit. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a no fucking brainer. Arm mod, arm mod, for sure. Uh, yeah, we already have that in there. It's, it's fine. We're not going to worry about those because it can't jump. Although, yeah, it's three slots. Can't fit that in the Highlander either. That's unfortunate. We can't really do much about this, but we'll do that. And now this Atlas will do even more damage for really, other than just putting it in the shop, there's really no other, there's no downside. So let's take a look. I don't think there's any, oh, well, all right. Shit. Yeah, we've got enough money. Let's buy the plus three large available. laser. We don't have any of those. Plus three accuracy. Plus one accuracy, plus five damage. I actually generally like the plus accuracy weapons better because I would much rather have a better chance to hit than just do a little extra damage. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Okay, let's... Take a look at the oh let's go to engineering now how far away are we to oh we're still we're still working take a look at the star map before we do the campaign mission maybe we'll go to mector and check out the black market there just to see if we can track down our last er small laser because <sighs> our our party mission at tierlin is literally on the way at this point, we don't have to worry about the expense of travel. Let's just go there and see what happens. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. And that'll give Renegade a little chance to heal up. That way, if there is a mission, we'll just bring our standard Shot mech warrior with us. Yeah, there wasn't really anything there. Pirates ambush the Argo. <laughs> Blaring klaxons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear, pacing the Argo. I love this one. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a ragged looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with a safe passage. For a price, of course. While you consider your options, Sumeri pipes up. Commander, if you could buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up of the lever. That'll teach him not to mess with us. But since we're liked by the restoration, we could broadcast for help from the system authorities, or since we're liked by the pirates anyway, we're just gonna persuade the pirates that we're just like them. You say, we've been straight with these criminals in the past. I'll see if we can get a deal. After you drop the names of black market contacts, which we're actually on our way to see, that the company has dealt with in the past, the pirate reluctantly accepts your story. Well, I can see you've been around and you caught me in a good mood. Plus my people are tired and our holds are full. Next time I find you in my space though, you'll pay up with interest. And our morale goes up. We are now at max, if we weren't already, we're now at max morale. That is fucking awesome. Got the financial report. Did I forget to? Nope, but that extra Highlander. Yeah, the extra Highlander. Oh, and the extra pilot. And some of our pilots got a little more experience. So yeah, our, our monthly expenses are a little more expensive now. That's okay. That might be another motivator to do some extra missions while at, uh, while at Mector. But if we bog things down by doing extra missions, uh, we might not finish the story tonight. Not that I'm... Not that I'm totally sold on the idea of definitely finishing the story tonight. But if we can, it would be nice. And of course, I'm still debating on whether or not... Those upgrades you asked for? Are online, Commander. Go to engineering here. 
but I'm still debating on whether or not I'm just gonna keep going with this after that's done. Yeah, let's let's spend that. We've got the money. Let's just Roger take the that, hit, and the we'll get it on the med bay because with this, once we get this up, the hospital bay it upgrades all the medical bays to hospital bays, and then theoretically, if any of our pilots end up taking lethal damage on a mission, there is a better chance that they don't actually die, which is awesome. Of course, that really took a lot of uh, a lot of our money, but we still have a good number. We still have 24. We'll still have 21 days if we do nothing to get to our next priority mission. We'll be able to do that and get a good payout from that. I'm not worried. I mean, we're sort of playing with fire, but but not really. And if there are a bunch of good missions on Mechter, we might just do them. Yeah, let's visit the store. See what we've got. Okay, that is a minus five ton machine gun. That is super awesome. Yeah, we'll buy that one too. Fuck. Why not? For sure. I think I've already got a bunch of those. But we'll do it anyway. Okay. All the rangefinder. Sure, just in case my rangefinder gets New destroyed, we'll be able to replace it. I'd only need one rangefinder, but now we've. Oh man, that would have been nice. That would have been nice, but now we're seeing annihilators and some other cool shit. We got a battle master that we could get. <laughs> that would be nice. Is this the? Yeah, this is the battle computer one. So this one's an intriguing choice. Because what we could do is we could get the 10Z Cyclops, replace it with the Marauder, and then the entire Lance goes in an entire initiative phase earlier. Now, a lot of times I'm just reserving anyway, and we're going after the other team regardless. But for those times where, like, we knock a mech down and I want to go before those go, now all of a sudden... The entire Lance is going in an initiative phase earlier and anybody that has Master Tactician, it stacks with that. So it's an intriguing choice. Now, right now, if we did that, we would have next to no money. We'd have to stay around. We'd have to stick around here. And uh, <laughs> we would <coughs> we would have to stick around here and do some missions. So that becomes a very interesting choice. And the 2N Griffin is a really nice Star League Griffin. It's got an ER PPC. This is a, this, especially for the flashpoints. If we end up doing the flashpoints, I would be glad if I pick up this Griffin here. It's also really expensive and we'd be dealing with the same kind of, there it is. That's what we definitely need though. That's what we came here for and that's what we got. Uh, well, since we already, let's see what we uh, that's probably a good choice. Yeah, just in case we lose our AC-20, it'd be good to have another. Yeah, we, we, we kind of got to do it. All right, so let's take a look at the missions, though, because if there are some good lucrative missions, it might make sense to stay here, do these missions, and make enough sea bills to be able to afford either the 10Z or the Griffin 2N. And I'm really tempted to go with the 10Z just for the fact that we would have an incredible initiative advantage in any battle we then go into. Especially since I took Master Tactician for Renegade. That really makes me want to do that and see because then we'll have an Assault Mech going in the medium mech phase, which is bonkers. So we're definitely not going that. Ooh, we could do this one. And we're doing dealing with a Torian strike force. And that will pay a good amount of money and we should get some bonuses here. We'll definitely get a lot of salvage. All right, let's do the proxy war. Come on, this mission is insane. And I don't say that lightly. We're going to take a serious beating on this one. I don't think so. I think I think we'll be okay on this. Only because we've got 
We've got good mechs now. We've got good pilots. And we can recoup a lot of the money we just dealt with for this. Yeah, I like this plan. Let's do this. We'll go after the Torians. We'll make the better part of a million sea bills. And we're going to get a shit ton of salvage. The only thing we'll do before we do that, we'll go to the mech bay. We'll tinker with our... Yep. We're going to do this. Because we noticed there were times... There was one time where we couldn't fire that. We're not going to deal with that any longer. So we've got a... Oh, wow. It's actually, it's actually even better than the other two ER small lasers. That's funny. Uh, all right. Let's do a little bit of OCD bullshit here. Go. Perfect. That's better. I don't know why I bother because it's just going to recycle this shit anyway. But that's very, that's much more pleasing. Okay. We are now done. I mean, at some point we'll find better ER medium lasers and we'll find better ER small lasers. But for now, at least. The overall layout of this particular mech, shit. Right. I didn't upgrade the I'll SRM-6. I'll upgrade the SRM-6 later, though. We're just going to deal with one day here. Let's do that. We'll do that attack and defend mission. That work order you submitted is Fuck. complete. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to do this proxy war. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. I mean, shit. We could just go that, take our million Seville payout, but with the amount of salvage we're going to get from this, I think that's going to be the right decision here. All right, we got nothing else going on there. Considering it's an attack and defend, it actually might make sense to bring in that Highlander and use the Highlander instead of the Marauder. But considering what we're up against, I like the fact that we're going to have our Marauder to help boost our damage. And we will definitely take advantage of the Marauder's ability to do headshots with Glitch. That sounds like a raid. Figures it would work for Freakbot. Hey, everybody. You cut... <laughs> Ghosty greetings. We're about to deploy again. That's a that's a lot of uh <laughs> Cam Kapow! Hey Rob, how are you, man? Games the game's in the process of loading a uh an attack and defend mission. So this thing's gonna be a little bonkers. I decided to do an extra mission in one of the planets to try to regain some of the money. Uh, so we're, we're pretty much going to be, uh, yeah, even Darius, like, wait, this mission is insane. <laughs> it's going to be bonkers. So let's, let's switch while it loads. We'll do some, we'll do some shout outs. I'll greet some, uh, I'll greet you, everybody. For anybody that I think everybody in Freakbot's uh, stream pretty much knows me. But in case you don't, I'm Resplendent Seraph. I play a bunch of RPGs. We have a bunch of fun. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Greetings, everyone. I was trying to monkey around with my bot, but it still just says stream elements. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> but that's all right. At some point, we're going to get... Oh, oh, that's that's cool. It's... Yeah. Um, good. Okay. It did at least work with that. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Greedy. Yeah, Cleo's taking a nap. She was... Uh, she had fun on the patio earlier, but she didn't find anything to kill. So that's always so nice. But uh, yeah, Cleo's, Cleo's taking a nap, although I'm saying her name, so now she may come out of her torpor. Uh, but right now she's taking a nap, which means she's behaving. <laughs> Getting better at my typing here. And uh, Rob the Wonderful streams uh, Namco versus Capcom and uh, Stardew Valley. I'm uh, quite a fan of Namco and Capcom. That game is bonkers. I want a nap, but I won't. <laughs> I do. I won't sleep late. Oh my goodness! Right? I I think about that sometimes when I get home. I'm like, I'll just take a quick nap. The next thing you know, my eyes open and it's 10:30, and I'm just like, "Fuck! Why did I do this to myself?" So yes, I feel that in my soul. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Oh gee. I did the dash instead of the hyphen. We were playing on uh, Overwatch the other night. That was pretty fun. And we'll do a shout out for Kara. I, I don't see him, but I know he was on. So just in case he came along for the for the raid, we'll do that. Watched him uh, while he was playing V Rising. That looked pretty fun. 
Always have a good time in Kara's stream. He's also one of my moderators. He's around somewhere. Yeah, he might just be listening. He's probably like, oh, <laughs> the raid happened and the alert actually sounded for him this time. I don't know why it didn't sound for Kara that one time other than to piss him off. <laughs> but that's all right. He'll have a uh, he'll have a shout out waiting for him when he comes back. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, let's just let's just rub it in a little bit. Yeah, the raids totally worked for me. Although I've been uh, I've been tinkering around with uh, stream elements and some of my stuff. So some of my overlays look a little different. I finally got my follower goal properly working with the uh, with the actual follower count that Twitch acknowledges. And uh, so that part is nice because the the follower goal before that was a little was a little borked, uh, but now it's actually referencing the same one that goes on that. Uh, somebody may have deleted their account or uh, or unfollowed or something along those lines, and I don't think Twitch follows those numbers really well. But the follower goal onto affiliate is exactly in sync with that now, so that technical hurdle has been dealt with. Really, the only thing I'm trying to deal with is to get my bot to say for instead of stream elements, uh, but to say resplendent bot instead. And I feel like I've done everything to do that, and it just won't do it. It'll just say stream elements uh, instead. So that's unfortunate. How many more? Are you waiting for followers for affiliate? Yeah, I've got my active, uh, I've got my average viewers uh, uh, in the right spot. Same, basically all of the categories. We're just waiting to get to 50, 50 followers. So we're still getting there. Yeah, follower views look good. Uh, we're, we're well on our way. So we are, we may not be the fastest growing channel, but we are a very healthy growing channel. Uh, so I've got quality over quantity, as uh, as I would. Yeah, my lurks are working. Why, thank you, Mickey. I appreciate your lurks. Uh, I appreciate everybody's lurks. Hell, I am like the pro lurker. I love lurking in channels. Uh, I've I've lurked in ghosties, serums. Uh, <laughs> uh, I lurked the shit out of uh, Kai Parasite. Uh, in fact, let's let's do a shout out for Kai Parasite. He's pretty cool. Um, he's been streaming. Um, He's been streaming. Uh, oh, he's he he last played Resident Evil. Shit, I should have caught that. He's been streaming Final Fantasy VII: The uh, Rebirth, and I don't want to spoil that, so I I just haven't shown up to his. Kara's actually the one that kind of led me on to Kai Parasite. He's a he's an awesome streamer. Uh, during the day, I have to lurk or I get no work done. <laughs> no, no, even all the more reason you shouldn't lurk and contribute, right? No, I I hear that because uh, I lurk at work all the time. A lot of times I'll have it on in the background and I could hear the activity from the streams going on while I'm off on my workbench, either taking apart a computer or doing something else like that. So even when I'm lurking, I'm still like actively listening. And there are times where I'm like, yeah, that sounded really awesome. I couldn't see it, but it sounded fun and I could still chime in on some of the jokes. But uh, I lurk, but I actually watch. <laughs> Wonder how you got your note. How you're not? How you got your handle there, Ghosty? <laughs> oh man! And Ghost, oh there he, oh that's how he got it in. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but are you lurking, Rob? Are you? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's all awesome. <laughs> yeah, girls. Uh, oh, where's my? Oh, do I not have my sound effect here? No, I must have that buried uh, deeper in. I do have my anime sound effect. I just have to do that one man manually. But I've got my anime. Wow! <laughs> I'm just going to have to do that with my normal voice. Although I've been talking nonstop since I started an hour and a half ago. So it, it wasn't quite as high pitched as it normally should be. But uh, if I did it a couple of times. But I feel like that was close enough. But yes, welcome Raiders. We are playing Battletech. We're actually closing in on the <laughs> only bad ones. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> it's <awesome. laughs> oh, that's great. So we can, uh, we can begin our mission. We'll do our drop here. And uh, there's so many of those. Yeah, yeah, there are. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we've got going on here. So essentially these missions get out of control really quick. So this is going to be fun to do. We've got to defend our base, but we also have to assault the Torian facility 
at the same time. Uh, and if we destroy it, the, our employers uh, lose their eyes on the operational area. They'll scrub the mission at that point. Uh, they're talking about our base. So we, we have to defend our base. So here's the plan. We're going to hold a tor uh, the Torian force and keep them busy and well away from the friendly facility. Meanwhile, a Davian strike force will be inbound to the AO. That's interesting. We got Davians. Once they land, they'll engage everyone friendly and hostile. Oh my God. In general, great. So this mission's even more bonkers than the standard attack and defend. Uh, great, 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 great. The goal is to get, oh, hey, Cleo. <laughs> Cleo heard us talking about her. Hello, Cleopatra, who's a good girl. Not anymore, not for me anyway. Oh, it sounds like fun. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. This one's gonna be bonkers. What are we doing, Cleo? You're gonna sit down my feet and bite my feet? Can you not bite my feet because I'm wearing socks? Are you being thwarted by my socks? Good, it didn't occur to me that 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 would be that would offer good armor protection. Oh, good girl. She's going to lay on my foot. OK, yep. OK, my foot is now a cat rest. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. She must have heard her name and just went, oh, OK, I'll come in here so I could pet her with my right foot. Assuming she doesn't bite my right foot. What? I'm petting you, cat. I love you. No, you just want to lay here. Oh, OK, OK. Her ears pinned back and I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> she is. And this cat is such a good little heat generator in those winter months. And I know Florida gets mild winters, but when it dips down into the 60s and 50s, I am super glad I have this cat. <laughs> she is a great, great little space heater. So once they land, they'll engage. Oh, right. We already read up this. So anyway, yeah, the goal is to get them to take the brunt of the enemy fire. We move in, clean up this mess afterwards. Let's see if we can do that. Number one priority, destroy that base. Once it's gone, the Torian Brass will call off the assault and we'll be clear to evac. <laughs> yeah, whose bullshit idea was this anyway? Well, that would be the people that work with the Arana Restoration. So anyway, not helpful, Meyer. Stay on station to make pickup once the base is down, Commander. Good luck. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. As Kara, how many times I tell him my toes are cold during the winter? I'd be happy with a cute little kitty tail warmer. Yes. I highly recommend. They're awesome. Cat cat. Cat cat is awesome. So we've got reinforcement waves that'll show up if we don't destroy the base fast enough. We got to destroy the Atorian attackers. We get a bonus for that. All right. So here's our destroy the Torian base. So we have to defend. Let's see. We got to defend that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Medusa kind of behind because with those LRMs I could shoot at long range and we should still be able to hold this oh my god this is gonna get yeah this is gonna be fucking bonkers there's our future evac zone yeah yeah this is gonna be yeah, this is gonna be a shit show okay how do I want to go about this I think we just go we got our options here if we go around the long way it's gonna take us too long to get there the Highlander can jump through this but the rest of my lands can't make it. So, yep, we're just, and that's, I just wanna make sure that's the right elevation. Yeah, we could just go straight through, we could just go straight through that. Yep, we're just gonna go straight here and just go along Main Street. Let's, whoops, okay, that is an elevation difference. Fuck. All right, well, the Highlander can, I can cope with that act, with that mistake with the jump. You're gonna come this way go that way Roger. we just saw an enemy go up right or no? hello cat what are we doing cat what are we doing what'd you knock over <laughs> did you knock over an empty little cup come here cat come here get my water you want my water instead you have water I don't have enough water in my cup. You want you want some water, cat? Up oh, the cat, and great, great. The cat the cat wakes up, and now the chaos begins. Tell you what, guys, give me two seconds. Let me give Cleo some water. I will be right back, and then we'll get right back into the heat of this. You want some water, kiddo? Come here. Come on.
I have returned. Thank you for being accommodating to my cat. Although I think I'm the one that's being accommodating to my cat. <laughs> uh, all right. Actually, thinking of it, I am going to take off my socks now. Probably should have taken those socks off earlier. Much better. Okay. I'm almost back in position. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, but she doesn't have your water. Yeah, no, she does not have my water. I gave her, I, I, I gave her an extra dose of, uh, or I, I refilled up her cups downstairs. Ugh. She loves drinking out of my water, though. Drives me crazy. So I think. Let's see, I have to destroy the Torian base. Yeah, we got to deal with these Torian attackers. All right, so they are going to be straight ahead. Great. That sucks. Okay, well, we got to deal with it. So, really rather not do that. Let's just advance you. Actually, we'll advance you right there so you're in cover. Uh huh. Definitely want the Atlas in front. And Medusa, you are going to go all of uh, right there. <laughs> Confirmed. Let's try and take out these Torian defenders as quickly as we can. More hostiles are entering the area. I've marked their LZ. Yeah, that'll be the Davian mechs. Well, maybe I should go around this long way then. If the Davian mechs are going to be there. <laughs> Ooh, pardon me. That was a weird hiccup. Unless I can kite these Torians over to where the Davians are going to show up. I don't like my prospects for that. I don't like my prospects for that at all. Ugh, man, that is a terrible, and I'm sure it's by design. That is an absolutely terrible Davian hostile drop site right in the way of how I planned to get to that base. That fucking sucks so badly. Commander. Uh, all right, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, now let's precision strike you with as much ordnance as possible. Because we could probably get rid of all of those evasion pips with this assault. Oh, nope, we didn't. It was worth a try, though. We still put a lot good bit of damage on that fucker. All right, we got a blackjack. We got a black knight, a blackjack. The Black Knight is definitely the bigger threat. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, actually, let's multi-target. Uh, let's do that. I mean, neither one. Oh, yeah, you're in cover. So yeah, we'll do that and let's go for it. Let's at least whittle uh -huh. down your evasion. Oops. <laughs> Hit the building. That's a war crime. <laughs> Whoops. Ugh, of course, they've got fucking Marauder, too. Shiznit. it. Well, I think I'm better off. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's put as much. We'll put it. Yeah, we'll shoot the Black Knight with. Oh, we could hit it with everything. Engaging and we engaging. shall. <clears throat> Concentrate on the Black Knight. It still has all of its locations, though. The advantage of a heavy mech. They can take a punishment, man. There it goes. Now it's lost its evasive. Good. That Torian mech will be within range of these guys. That should work out really well in our favor. I get to cover? Yeah, I can. I think that's still worth it, even with the stray shots. Oh, yeah. this That Black Knight is going to really hate its life in a minute. Probably are not going to beat this game tonight. 
just because of the timing. Oh, we cord it. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, now we really fucked it up. Hostile removed. Goodbye, Black Knight. Looks like our Davian friends have arrived. You'll need to get them shooting at the target facility. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them to shoot at the target facility, but that would be nice. Uh, Excel, are you sure about this? You see the size of those mechs? Let's see, so they must have dropped, but no, I don't see it. Must be bad. It must be really fucking bad. <laughs> All right, precision strike. Yeah, we're going to precision strike that marauder. That thing we need to take out with extreme prejudice. All dang what, uh, freak bot? I think I missed the context on that one. All right, so what are we doing here now? Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing with that Atlas. That Atlas is going to come up here and punch that blackjack. <laughs> well, that area just got hot. That were might be. Oh, yeah. Yep. At least I don't think so. Um, we're we're kind of not making good enough time. But that's good. The facility is shooting at the Davian mechs, so the Davians should attack back. That is good for us. That is very good for us. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just advance one. All right, let's try to take out this Marauder. We're going to try and take out this Marauder. But at the very least, we're going to get close to the end. Damn. It'll probably be a safe bet to do it next, next stream. But we're getting there. We had to do a couple of missions just for the current priority mission to even populate. And then once I saw this mission, it's like, oh, we, we got to do this. This is going to be bonkers. <laughs> so... Let's kind of feel like, hmm, don't like the idea of doing that, but we're going to take a little bit of a risk here. Engaging jump jets. Calculated risk time. Because this Highlander, or this Marauder, needs to be destroyed and will knock it down here. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's providing way too much of a defensive buff for our enemies. It it must be destroyed. <laughs> We're missing a lot of really interesting action out of uh, sensor range over there. <laughs> Oh, we, we could see a uh, Banshee over there. What is it? Ah, uh, it's the 3M. The 3M sucks. That mech is such garbage. Mm, wow. Yeah, it's evasion is too... It's too crazy. All right, well, this is what we'll do then. I will advance this way. And we'll fire everything except that Ultra AC-20 at the Marauder. Would have been nice, but whatever. It is what it is. And he doesn't have the good... Okay, good. We got the torso. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we weren't going to make it. Take that. <laughs> we really fucked up that Marauder, though. One more good lick, and it's out of commission. We've got this. At least this part of the action. What the hell is going on over here now? Oh, we got sensor locks. Uh, all right, so it's the Torian sensor locking them. Probably turrets from the base.
Yeah, we might not be beating this tonight, but boy, is this going to be fucking crazy shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, let's take out the Marauder. Let's be done with this. It is not going to survive this particular attack. The Marauder's done. No fucking way. I just don't see it. Yeah, there it is. Although, boy, it absorbed a lot of those missiles. A lot more than I thought it would. Now this Blackjack is going to die. <laughs> Although it may be far enough away that the Atlas may not... I may not... Actually, it may have, that may have been a smart move on the Blackjack's part. It was a PPC hit. <laughs> Man, I'm glad they're fighting up there. Well, we're dealing with the Torian attackers and the Davians are dealing with the Torian defenders. Considering the amount of heat that just got generated. Oh, really? All right, you go here. And I'm just going to shoot at you with a couple of things. We'll mostly cool off and whittle away some of that evasion. You're not firing either of those two PPCs. This is fine. But we'll take that. Nice. Perfect. What's this cataphract doing? Otherwise known as the Franken mech. Yeah, the friend of his, Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry, Darius. I know, I'm aware of that cataphract. Thinking. Best bet. Oh, probably because of, uh, man. Then, yes, that is what we will do. I'm going to jump up here. Engaging jump jets. It's unfortunate I have to jump, engage the jump jets, but it is what it is. We'll do vigilance since I'm exposed. And, yes. Alpha strike, that blackjack. All weapons committed. Sucks to miss the gauze rifle. But we still hit with most everything else. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Good. Medusa should be able to finish off the blackjack next round. And I'll have Slam at least fire at the cataphract to draw its fire. Sucks to have to waste his action that way, but so it goes. Standing by. Yeah, this will do. Although I could, you know what? I might just do that. Position confirmed. Except the heat situation is still so fucking terrible. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Perfect. All right. Well, everything's pretty much going to hit. So. Let's hit you with the SRMs and try to knock you over. I like this plan. Yes. Let's do it. Roger. We're at least going to really fuck up that cataphract. <laughs> Blow off its arm. I don't think we're going to knock over the blackjack, but couldn't hurt. It was a good split up its fire. 
I don't think I could have killed the cataphract with an alpha strike in that direction, but I knew punching a couple of holes in it with that AC-20 was going to make it hate its life. Well, those Davians are sure as hell making a hell of a ruckus over there. So yeah, we've got us, we've got a Davian Lance, and we've got a fuck ton of Torian forces. At least two Lances that I can kind of make out, as well as turrets at the Torian base. So shit is fucking crazy. Standing by. Medusa. Blow up the blackjack. End that fucker. Here it comes. <laughs> I hope we can salvage that. <laughs> I don't know, Medusa. You made one hell of a fucking mess. <laughs> Alright, so now, actually, I am going to stay put and fire into the cataphract. We'll cool off a little bit, and I'll just stand right where I'm at. Although I will do Vigilance again. Just because that seems to be a good idea. And we may take out the Cataphract now. It'd be nice if we can. Come on. Yes, we got it. Not by much, but we got it. But we will do the second to last campaign mission tonight, so that'll be nice. And it will be well staged to finish the game next time. But we are kind of entering into the last phases of this uh, Oregon conflict. Now, since that is not even firing at me at the moment, I almost wonder. Good to go. So to sneak through. Yeah, pretty much the only way up is through that whole mess. Yep, let's do it. You sprint. We're going to avoid. We're going to avoid that Davian mech if I can help it. That Davian Lance, if we can help it. Let's just let them fight. We're not even going to get into it. I'll have the Highlander jump. And then what I probably will do is I'll have Slab and Medusa kind of get in between and just act as extra defenders in case a reinforcement wave shows up and they can deal with any reinforcements. Receiving you. Yeah. I'm... They're still dealing with something over there. So I think I'm just going to be in position to defend the base in case these assholes decide to do something. You know what, though? Let's... Oh, yeah. Standing by. So I will simply go here and defend. Heading out. Yeah, you need to cool down anyway. The Atlas, it just doesn't have a good enough engine in it to get to the base in time. I mean, it's obviously a fantastic weapons platform. And we're going to need that because reinforcement lances will start dropping. I don't think we're going to destroy the base in seven rounds. That's kind of a big ask, but we're going to try. That that Marauder should be able to beat feet around and the Highlander will just go straight through. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm so glad that now I'm really glad that Davian Lance is here. And they are taking a punishment. Holy shit. God damn. Okay, we're going to jump. I think I'm just going to jump in this general direction. I don't even know if it can see me from over there. Yeah, I don't even know if these guys can see me. Because, I've, again, I've got the rangefinder. I mean, I could attack the assassin with my LRM-15, but fuck that. Nope, you're just going to stay there. We're going to lose some heat. Try to avoid getting drawn into that action. Ooh. That looked more like a like a limb than anything serious. You're going to come up here, though. So 
reposition you. Out. And you brace. Cool off. Perfect. Victorian defenders. <laughs> Doing a melee attack against something. Old strategy. Oh, can't see it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a hundred ton mech over there. I wonder what that is. Probably an Atlas, but it could be an Annihilator. <laughs> Holy shit, they've got a hundred. They've got a 100 ton mech over you? there. Oh my god. That is fucking crazy. Pedal to the metal. Yep. All right, so I'm splitting up my force, which normally is not a good idea. But in this case, yes, that is going to be required. We're not getting this. We're not getting this mission completed before the reinforcement, at least not re before reinforcement wave one. I think we could do it before reinforcement wave two. We have an outside chance of being able to do it before the first wave. Wait a Ready for orders. Yeah, you know what? Oh, man. Receiving you. Uh, yeah, we'll go here because we need to defend this base. I really don't know where this reinforcement wave is going to land. So I'd rather be close to the base, but all possible. And more of this action. <laughs> Melee hit. So probably an Atlas, but you never know. It's close. It's point blank range. It may have just the enemy pilot may have just decided to melee since it was that close. Oh my God, this is fucking crazy. Actually, I may have Medusa advance into these woods when he can go again. So if I'm close enough with Medusa, I could still lob LRMs at the base over all these neighborhoods. I am so glad I didn't go up that street. <laughs> well, that's a mech that just died. We may end up coming down that street on the way back just to see the fucking carnage. I'd be far out. <laughs> jump. Yeah, we gotta jump. Yeah, jump there. All right, the op force holding forces back at the captured base, presumably to cover their intel teams. They're optional targets, Commander. Uh, yeah. Well, right now they're fighting the Davians, so I'm not all that worried about them. <laughs> aye, aye. All right. Yeah, I do think I like the idea of getting you into that position. You'll have cover from literal cover from the buildings here, but you'll also have cover forest giving you All that right. extra speed. extra defense. Got a crazy bullshit's going on in here now. So I see two Davians. That's got to be a Davian. Oh. Oh, the 95 we know is a Banshee. Yeah, that's a Torian mech then. <laughs> it is funny just watching the explosions. Venting heat. Oh shit. Well that was bad, whatever it was. You can't see. Yeah, 
and whoever it is is an ace pilot because they destroyed something and then backed off. I am curious to see if that's an Atlas or an Annihilator or a King Crab. It could be a King Crab too, but those are our three choices for 100 ton mechs. We're staying the hell away from it. <laughs> we are staying the hell away from all that bullshit. We are going to let them beat the shit out of each other and soften themselves up. Yep, and we, we're already getting, uh, we're well on our way. So, they've each taken out a mech of their, uh, a mech each. And it looks like they're all really fucked up. Melee attack, yep. All right. Let's jump. Let's jump over here. Let's get as far over here as possible. Hopefully, I could start attacking that base while they're so distracted over there. None of these Torians have even noticed that I'm sneaking up over here. They have no... This this is the only unit that even has a chance, and I think it's too far away to notice that I'm even here. They really have no clue I'm even there. That's the best part. They don't even know I'm there. What can I do for you? There's situational awareness in this whole debacle is completely fucked. I'm going to have uh -huh. my two mechs in firing position at this base before they're in any position to react. That is awesome. Let's see if anybody... Uh, I think we're good. I probably could have just told him he was done. What is going on? Oh, melee hit. That's a critical hit. <laughs> yeah, we're done with you two. Managing heat. I mean, I knew this was going to be bonkers. I didn't know it was going to be this chaotic. This is <laughs> so fucking crazy. And we're not even involved in most of it. We can only, we can only like hear, we can only like hear it and see it on sensors at long range. And if it weren't for the rain fi range finder, we wouldn't even be seeing this. There's our assassin, another melee attack against a 100 ton mech. Bold strategy. That is not a good idea. The only reason you would do that is if the assassin is totally overheating. It shouldn't be anywhere near that mech. If that 100 ton mech punches back, it's toast. <clears throat> Guessing that's an Orion that just went out of range. Then another melee attack. These guys must just be totally overheating like crazy. Damn, I still can't attack though. Getting closer. Engaging jump jets. Jump once more. Boss, I'm seeing turrets powering up. Big ones. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, now they're aware of me. So now that they're aware of me, maybe I'll sensor lock that just to see what it is. Oh, never mind. I'm sensor locking that turret. Perfect. Oh, and the shredder turret's already taken damage. Cool. Yes, Commander. And I fire. Yes, I can. Good. Medusa, you fire at the Shredder turret. That's one of the reasons why I left that archer there. Because, yeah, I could just lob LRMs over this entire fucking battlefield. Oh, yeah. Uh, him. One LRM 20 volley, please. Acknowledged. You gotta wonder what these guys are fucking thinking. They're in this firefight, and all of a sudden, there's just a volley of LRM 20s that just fly past that the entire skirmish gone. area and destroy a turret. I would imagine right now, everybody in this base, waiting for orders. They're putting on the brown pants. <laughs> uh, all right, sprint. Yeah, I can't get there in time, so we will be going here. Yeah, 
we'll be going here. See what I can do with all that shit. So now our assault on the base begins. Granted, that turret was already really fucked up, but that was a serious turret. Man, a lot of melee attacks. Jesus. That is just a Ready for orders. bonkers array of... Um, yeah, we'll just race. We got another, what, three rounds? Yeah, that, that reinforcement wave is coming. And I want you in position to defend that settlement. That base, rather. We lose the base, it's game over. Oh shit. Well, a Torian me another Torian mech just bit the dust. I still can't quite tell what 100 ton mech that is. I only know I want no part of it. <laughs> Let's reserve. What's doing here? You're, okay, you are moving through. That was a component, probably a torso. Looked like a torso. Let's continue to advance. Yep, and now we can start attacking our facility here. So the question is, do I go here or do I... I probably should go here because then somebody can attack the turret. I might be better off being able to attack the turret. Then again, if I can do that, then it can attack me also. see what's going on maybe I should just go here from cover and attack this shit All right, I'm gonna play games with this and let's hope we can attack the actual base let's see what we can medium corporate building yep let's do it Open fire. Engaging target. We already took out one, a third of the base. We might be able to do this before a reinforcement wave hits. I think we do get a bonus for that if we, if we do, although we also get a better bonus by destroying the reinforcement wave. Waiting on you, Commander. Perfect. All right. Yes. We're going to go advance. You betcha. Destroy this other. Yeah, we... we We've got this. That reinforcement wave is not coming, I don't think. Although we do have to worry about those turrets. Oof. It's only a... Alright, let's do some Tell damage to it. Shoot. All of those shots landed. And Medusa hit yep. that from here. Oh, I can't hit the fucking... I can't hit the base from there. But you know what? I'm still going to... Adv oh, yeah. You know what? I'm still going to advance into the street and I'll just have him race. Slightly out of even LRM range there. But I definitely don't want to get too close to all this crazy bullshit. Well, there goes another Torian mech. <laughs> So the Davians are definitely getting the better of the Torians. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep slam there. Although maybe I should start making slam go towards the future evac zone. Yep, it's a king crab. Fuck. And it decided to shoot at me because I guess fuck me. That's why. Man, I'm so glad I had you oh, brace. They don't like me at all. Answers that question. It is, in fact, a king crab. 
But if I destroy that fast enough. I'm here. Shit. All right. Well, OK, if I go here and I shoot that building. Yes, I can. So that is what I am going to do. We're going to we're going to remember the objective. I'm going to show up here, try and get some cover. I don't know why the Davian mech decided to go after me there, but whatever. Vigilance. Yep. We are definitely getting vigilance, toggling that on. And yeah, destroy that other corporate building. Yep, not fucking around. Destroy it. We only got one more building left, and I think I can get it with Renegade. Let's prevent... Let's try and prevent that reinforcement wave from even landing. That would be awesome. Oh, it still has a Sentinel. Or they still have a Centurion. Wow, that Centurion is almost unhurt, too. How is that Torian still out there? It's the only Torian defender left. Oh, and good. Thank you for going after more of those turrets for me. I appreciate that. Okay, so you jump. Where is our last building? Fuck. I think it's there. Yep, it's going to be here. Means they're going to be able to target me. Oh yeah, we're doing more vigilance because I am not going to take full damage from anything if I could help it. Oh, I missed with the fucking gauze rifle. Does everything else? Yes, we still got it. We destroyed our base, man. That was textbook. That was fucking textbook. <laughs> Completed all primary objectives. We're clear to extract, so we could just get the fuck out of Dodge. I'm going to station to pick you up here whenever you're ready, boss. As long as you're just still in the AO, Commander, we need to keep the restoration base secure. And the Davians could end up destroying that fucking restoration I base because they're ya. fucking assholes. Uh, so yeah, let's just go here. Either way, we need to get the evac zone. Yeah, the evac zone's over here, so we need to kind of get down this road anyway to get to the evac zone. So we need to go this direction anyway. Let's uh, let's go this way. And I think I'm going to be able to shoot this Centurion. Should be a Centurion. I'll probably be able to shoot this Centurion right in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This fucker, he's fucked. He's fucked. Goodbye. Say goodnight. Firing everything I've got. Right into the back. Scratch another target. Although, to be fair to this Centurion, gotcha. he was not expecting us here. Poor bastard. Fortunately, we're still probably going to have to take out these turrets. Although the Davians are going to make short work of that for us. Standing by. All right, asshole. You want to try this bullshit? Confirmed. Toggle on. And fire. Confirmed. This, we're going to make sure this king crab regrets coming to try to fuck with us. Plus, we can get king crab salvage. I have... I have plans for this king crab. <laughs> I have big plans for that king crab. <laughs> Man, that mech has taken a lot of damage. What do you need? All right, jackass. Uh, let's go this way. And yes, let's just fire on the king crab Roger. here. If I could do vigilance, I will. I don't think I can, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, in your case, yes. I do not need that archer getting hit by two AC-20s. Yeah, you're looking at that right. The King Crab has a ridiculous Gosh. amount of ordnance it can unleash and just can put into a fucking mech. But it was nice to turn itself into one direction to almost give me a free... 
free shot on it. So yeah, let's do that. And uh, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go after turrets. I'm going to jump here and deal with turrets and be able to spot. Good deal. Now the question is, what turret do I want to deal with? I can only shoot that turret. I can't destroy that turret. So, this turret it is. Yeah, fuck it. There's no reason to hold off. Not play games. Plus, we get a bonus by taking out all the turrets. Let's see, what's this Davian grasshopper doing? Shooting at me, apparently. But it missed. Waiting on you, Commander. Right. So, I don't think I can really do much. So, it's time for me to sprint and get into this action. Yep. Get the Got hell it. over there. Plus, I was overheating anyway, so this is a good re. Uh, just sprint round where I just vent heat and move and just haul ass. Yeah, not a surprise there. But with the evasion, it, like, n barely hit me. Yeah, these guys are primarily going to engage me now. Yep. Oof. Not great. But all the better that I had vigilance on. Reporting. Minimal damage. Ready for orders. Here's the only problem. The Atlas is fucking slow. I really didn't count on these guys engaging the archer. That that part kind of sucked. But not the end of the world. Attack we'll fire at you more. Still whittle away more of that armor. Yep, there it is. Couldn't tell based on the view of whether or not those AC hit AC twenties hit. Yes, Commander. Well, it looks fucking bad. <laughs> yeah, go back here. Okay. Yep. Go into the water. We're gonna have you back off. Still be able to fire at you. Vigilance more. I don't want my archer getting fucked up. Surprised the king. Yeah, that was not a smart move on the king crab's part. Critical hit it should have batter. tried to face me a little bit better. Instead, I did all of that damage on one side and blew off one of its auto cannons. That's like half of its scary factor right there, just gone. And yeah, they're gonna focus fire on the archer, which is kind of normal. Waiting for orders. I don't think I'm gonna be able to shoot that turret, which isn't really that big a deal. Uh, so yeah, we'll go here, and we'll shoot whatever that is. Got it. Probably the Banshee based on the positioning, but let's find out. Oh, the Grasshopper. Oh my god, that's terrible. Well, fuck it. Since we're gonna have that shitty to kind of odd to hit anyway, let's go for the head. Fuck it. Got it. Hmm. I think we did hit its head once. Yeah, we did. And it lost evasive, so fuck the grasshopper in particular. All right, jump. Let's get the hell away from this. I don't think that turret can target me there, which is really nice. But just the same, I'm going to torso twist so at least it's not shooting me in the back. So I can really only shoot with an LRM. But at this point... Yeah, we're going to shoot the grasshopper for sure. We're not going to we're going to knock it over at the very least. And maybe that pilot got injured so much we could kill the pilot. I don't know because I really has a, I haven't been able to even see these guys. But the Torians did their job in a sense because this is a serious fucking lance and they are very fucked up. All right, that Banshee is overheating them. Wow, it still managed to be able to fire off that PPC, huh? 
All right, slam. Advance. Yeah, there we go, boy. We're not shooting at, at that banshee. We're going to shoot at the king crab instead. I'm just going to wade right up in front and be like, hey, motherfuckers, what's up? Let's shoot that king crab. Hell yeah. Engaging with target. Good. Destroyed its right torso. I think it'll be shooting at the Atlas Before from now hit. on. Critical hit. <laughs> wow, it just did nothing? Wow. Yeah, it just advanced and then blocked. Uh, I will... Man, I'd like to get to the evac zone if we can. We'd have to maneuver around a little bit. Let's see. Uh, well, I could do that. You know, maybe I should just come over here so they can't really shoot at me anyway. And open fire more on the king crab. Let's do that. Start swinging our way over. See if we can get there. We may just we may just take out the king crab here. Oof! I bet you we got close. Solid connection on that one. How close did we get? Seventeen. We are all but seventeen away from that. <laughs> oh man! So let's. Uh, I think that's as close as I can get. It's just going to be LRMs at this point. Jump jets. Yeah, the problem is, well, maybe could could potentially do it, but I think what I'd rather do try to take out this grasshopper. Let's try and take out the grasshopper. I'll leave the king crab to slab. Well, yeah, I tried. Uh, yeah, well. Yeah, okay. Fine. I read you, Commander. All right, Glitch will take out the grasshopper. No, that's not necessary. It's over. It's dead. Tell me what to shoot. Yeah, the grasshopper can be scary because it's a fucking... Heavy You're mech dead. that can jump behind you and put a lot of ordnance right in your back. Oh, hit a building back there. I think it sounded like it destroyed the building. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, Banshee. You're the least of my problems at the moment, but I'm coming for you, buddy. Don't worry. I am coming for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to go into that pool of water, vent some extra heat, continue to sort of redeploy towards the, towards that. Yes. What the hell? Let's try for it. Sorry. Right. Destroy the king crab. It's now out of commission. Goodbye. Mech destroyed. Oh, that's right. There's a fucking bonus if I destroy the Torian turrets. Should I go back and destroy the Torian turret? Mm. That's a good question. Do I just go back and destroy that Torian turret just for the bonus? I probably should. At this point, this is well in hand. Yeah, let's just make sure we hit even more. <laughs> yeah, we've got this. You guys have got this. Well, I can't get to it anyway, but I'll just go over here, shoot with more LRMs, and we'll deal with the turret next round. But for now, fire at the branchy with even more LRM. Wow, I can't get to you yet. 
All right, fine. Sprint. Yeah, you have fun with all that. Sprinting. Even if you try to shoot me, that's way more evasion that you can and you can deal with. Wonder if these guys regret fucking with me now. <laughs> Cuz I was totally content to take out the base and just make a run for it and not even fight these guys. I was I would have been quite happy to do that. Would not have had any problem with that whatsoever. Oh, yeah, all right. Fine. Attack. Uh, let's actually move back. Oh my God, really? You know, fine. Let's just attack from here. Yeah, just attack with two medium lasers. I know it sounds weird with that, but I'll vent some heat. Reset the recoil on the AC-20. Still managed to get a critical hit. That's how fucked up that mech is. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna clear the AO and Sumeria's just gonna pick us up. I'm thinking that, yep, there goes that arm. So much for its PPC. Yeah, we'll just go here, take out this turret. Have Glitch shoot at the Banshee. And we'll have the Banshee in a complete crossfire. Come on. Yeah, come on. Target that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, why not? All Fuck the turret in particular. <laughs> Target destroyed. Good to go. Or I'll just shoot it from here. Yep. All weapons Going for go. go for the head. Yeah. Why not? When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. That's a lot of damage. That's the only problem with the Banshee is when it overheats. Well, or when you're fighting one, it does a lot of damage. Commander. But so do I. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the better of that exchange. Oh, ho, 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 and its PPC just got destroyed. A critical hit. for orders so this this is this is just over wow i'm actually running low on lrm ammo that does not happen very often i actually only have one and a half shots left <laughs> but i don't think the banshee's gonna survive that wow it did i can't believe it's on fire! <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Sure. Let's try to knock it down. Although I think it would be pretty funny to get the last hit from all the way over here. Although I don't I don't think I will. But it would be this would be fucking funny as shit. We can knock it down. <laughs> now it's over, for sure. Good to go. We could advance closer, but it's not. It doesn't matter. Okay. Go fuck yourself. Here we go. Kill confirmed, Commander. Make us do that Python lethal damage. All right, you managed to wipe the wipe op four out, and we managed to do that without a single reinforcement lance uh, wave landing. I don't know if I've ever done an attack and defend without even one reinforcement wave landing. Although that Davian lance sure is how complicated matters. And now the Torian Conquerdot 
absolutely fucking loathes us and hates our guts. We made a lot of money though. We made a mil cool million C bills off, off of that shit. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Yep, we're gonna go for King Crab Salvage because we fucking are. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, we got a lot of good shit here. Let's see. Let's take a look and see what we got. I do like the plus two damage medium lasers. Those are good ones. Wow, a lot of junk. Yep, yeah, all right, fine. Marauder it is. We'll complete a Marauder. Actually, we'll probably sell that one. Hell, we might even sell the other one we've got. Not bad. problem is the next campaign mission is long but i don't want to i definitely want to at least do one campaign mission is back tonight but fuck that took forever that mission took fucking bloody forever uh that's pretty lame uh so yeah now i got an interesting question of do i do I try to do that or do I just get there and then do it next stream? Um, Cause it is getting to, it's 1030. Now granted, I'm, I'm pretty good, but usually, usually when we start, eh, but the next one is definitely long. The next one will probably take us anywhere between a half hour, 45 minutes to beat. Um, so let's do a little bit of logistical cleanup and Seraph will figure out, will decide whether or not to do this campaign mission tonight or whether or not to just, uh, table this till next stream and do it at the very beginning next stream. Because the next one's an assault and it's almost like a cliff assault and it, it's, it's pretty crazy. We have to avoid artillery. We have to essentially really scale a cliff. And uh, it's a fun mission, but it's it's involved. <laughs> it is very, it is very, very involved. You know what I think we'll do? Actually, oh, it's sell. Okay, so let's sell that Marauder. Sell that Marauder. Good. And you know what? Now let's go to the black market. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy this. 10z we're gonna buy the 10z if we can afford it available. that's gonna be good shit that mech is all right to fight, Commander. now we're a little low at the moment but that is going to be a fantastic mech and that's actually going to replace it's gonna replace one of them that might replace our archer actually Replacing the archer is probably the better bet because the marauder is still a good striker. I actually do like that plan. I like this plan. We're going to replace we're going to replace our missile boat because at this point we no longer need to knock shit down constantly. Missile boats are nice, but at the same time we can turn this cyclops into a very nice we could actually turn the Cyclops into a decent LRM boat. But the Atlas and the Highlander have more than enough LRMs for us that we really need. And having the extra 20 tons is a benefit. So let's let's do that. Let's let's refit this Cyclops. And now we're all gonna run on really good initiative. Oh, that SRM ammo is getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> That's step one. We're getting the we're getting rid of that shit. And uh, all right. well, we don't have we don't have a good one of that. That's the only problem. We can't replace this with a cockpit mod. That part kind of sucks. It is what it is. But we'll at least leave the spot open. Go to the LRM. 
We've got some better LRM tens. Jesus. All right. Well, we'll go with the stability damage, which actually is not a bad idea, because it doing more stability damage. That essentially is going to do same similar stability damage as an LRM-20 would do. Almost. Two, we'll bring down these two medium lasers. Yeah, those two, uh... Those two. Now what I could also do is remove the LRM... I could remove this LRM, and we could just put some more medium lasers in this puppy. There are a lot of different... So the Cyclops 10Z is, is really, really... One of the biggest advantages of it is it's so versatile to do different builds in because you've got the missile hard point in the middle and you've got this missile hard point. So you could kind of double up with that. I'm actually kind of inclined to remove the SRM entirely. Let's remove the SRM and the SRM ammo. Actually, we're going to do that. We now have three tons to play with. Let's put two medium lasers. <laughs> now the heat on this thing is now going to be actually you know what let's let's take away that we did buy an ultra auto cannon 20 let's replace that because yeah this thing does overheat a fucking ton but our firepower just went through the fucking roof and now we can play play games a little bit. Let us add some heat sinks. So we're gonna add heat sinks, heat sinks. Yeah, we're gonna add we're gonna add some heat sinks to this bad boy. And let's add some arm armor because base the base cyclops, the arms are really easy to blow off. Granted, the base Cyclops doesn't really have valuable medium lasers, but we just put some better medium lasers on this thing. So yeah, we don't want it to to get taken out too easily. Of course, those are really valuable. And yeah, that works. All right, so we've increased its armor, its total firepower by a very nice margin. And once we start getting double heat sinks, yeah, we could really we could really have some fun with the Cyclops. And the fact that we now go a lot faster, I think that's going to pay dividends, especially when we do knock over mechs. And we'll still have the archer for various other missions, like when we're doing base defenses, when we really want to have a lot of missiles to lob at shit. And we still never found really good LRM-20s to even put on this thing. But in any event, it took us till nearly the end of the game to finally have an assault mech that was worth actually replacing the archer. Because the archer just wasn't didn't have the uh, armor that these guys did. I mean, this 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 guy's gonna have crazy armor. I mean, the Atlas has sixteen hundred. The archer has nine sixty. Highlander is fifteen twenty. Granted, we also proved the armor of it, but you get the point. Let's take a look at the Mac Warriors. We should be able to improve somebody's. Ready for orders? Nope, still not you. Orders. We can improve you. We will. Training that. confirmed, Commander. Good to go. Your max at this things. point. Good. Let's. Mech warrior training. Use you. Complete. Yes, Commander. Order. Still good. And we can now max you out. Perfect. Training complete. Beautiful thing. You're still at max. Ready for orders. Slam. We ran on a mission, so it doesn't surprise me that we're up there. Um. Yeah, we'll go with the max sprint. Training sure. confirmed, Commander. That works. I probably should have saved it to get breaching shot, but whatever. Okay, so. Or. Or do we call this a night? It's a little early, but we could call it. I got started late because I was fiddling with um, stream elements. But I'm kind of inclined to, to call this a night because what we could do is called us a night to reconquest here as a, well no we're not going to do it again we're not i'm not doing a pirate mission and uh oh no it's a pirate force so now it doesn't really matter we're going to turlin 
Yeah, we're going to Turlin. Fuck it. Command. We're not doing those. I was thinking what, whether or not I wanted to do a, a warm up or not. But now we're not going to do a warm up. We're going to make our way towards that. The really, I mean, yeah, there was some other stuff in the black in the in the black market, but we really couldn't afford that yet. We need to do this priority mission, make some money, and then after this mission, pretty much the next campaign after that, the next campaign mission will be end game. I want to say the next time we stream, we will in fact be beating this. We will be uh we will be beating this thing. That's going to be exciting. And uh, that'll actually maximize our window of doing it next stream because we'll do the Turlin invasion, which does take a while. We'll probably have to do at least one or two missions outside of that. Yeah, we may still not even beat it next stream. I was thinking about it. I'm like, we got an outside uh, outside chance of doing it this stream. Oh, Tournament Madness. Behemoth arrives at your quarters looking for some advice. What had started as a competitive training exercise in the training module has since evolved into a ship-wide tournament with mixed lances of mech warriors and other crew. Behemoth and Slam have been competing together. But Commander, Slam hasn't been pulling his weight, and my other two teammates are looking to me. As Lance Captain, do something about it. I'm feeling a bit stuck here. What should I do? Uh, I'm going to go with suggest Behemoth hold extra practice. Nice. All right, Behemoth nods. You're right. Now's the time for everyone to step up. Later that week, you visit the training room and check the leaderboards. Behemoth's lance has uh, risen in the standings. She walks up behind you. Thanks for the advice. I just wish I'd challenged the team even sooner. We may have made it to the finals, but next season we've got this for sure. And now Behemoth says X uh, has high spirits. So this is perfect. So we're already on our way to a burning in system. I'm going to pause it there. And we are going to do a manual save. And yeah, we're going to we're going to save this for for next stream. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, we're 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 because I yeah, this this is not uh, even though we're doing it a little early. This next mission, you'll you guys will see it, it takes a little while. And I don't think there's any other logistics that we can kind of take care of. So I think that's OK. We did save. I'm going to do the save it quit just for safety. I know I saved it, but. You know why why take chances and so uh yeah we're we're getting there um so let's see we'll do a quick channel update here i want to i want to say that by next stream if all goes well will be uh because i've got some some stuff to do with the old phd so this week is going to be a little a little occupied but if I end up streaming by surprise on Thursday, I'll, I'll post something on on uh, on Twitter. But my suspicion is this week is going to be a school catch up week. And the plan will be on uh, Sunday do Oath of Felgana. That is sort of my plan. But Saturday, I may play more Link of the Past. That's kind of the wild card. We'll see how I feel on Saturday. And I do like the idea of playing through that because that was really fun to catch up on Link, uh, Zelda, A Link to the Past. Oh yeah, Kai Paris, we were just talking about him and he's playing Resident Evil 4. So uh, yeah, let's raid out to Kai tonight. That'll be fun. We'll see how Resident Evil 4 is going. That sounds like a good plan. <clears throat> and we'll see, Oops, I definitely need some water. I need some, I couldn't quite get to the end before hydrating. Good night, Nikki. Thank you for coming out. Cleo says hello and goodbye. <laughs> Thankfully, she didn't kill anything this week, but not not through any lack of effort on her part. <laughs> and I think that pretty much. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> wow. Yeah, more water. Holy crap. <sighs> Goodness gracious. So yeah, I'm going to see it. That's a, I guess this is the time to, to, to call it a night. <laughs> I was already planning to, but holy smokes. So yeah, uh, tentatively Saturday, Link to the Past. Uh, but for sure, Sunday night, we'll be playing more Oath of Fulgana, uh, which will be fun. Until next time, I will see you guys all, uh, all later. Have a good one and ciao. Have a great rest of your week.